All right, we are back. So in this video, we are gonna be talking about uh, how to interpret the coefficients in a regression model. Once you've estimated your regression, what do those coefficients mean uh, when you look at them in a regression table? And I will tell you that the answer is very, very simple and straightforward, and we work too way too hard to, uh, to we mess it up for ourselves because we are trying to make it more complex than it actually is. But in fact, it is very easy. If you regress y on x, then the coefficient on x is this. A one unit change in x is associated with a coefficient sized unit change in y. That is it. That is the mantra that you must keep in your head because it works in pretty much all scenarios uh, when you're talking about regression coefficients and interpreting them. And if you have a complex regression model that you're not quite sure how to interpret, then just say out that sentence one more time and then slot things in in the proper place. What is x? What is y? What does a one unit change mean? Well, you just fill those things in and you are done. A one unit change in x is associated with a coefficient sized unit change in y. Uh, if you want to add some control variables in there, if you're regressing y on x and some control variable z, well, then it gets slightly more complex, and, but it's not that much more. Uh, adjusting for all the other predictors in the model, a one unit sized change in x is associated with a coefficient unit sized change in y. Not that different. We're just doing the exact same thing. A one unit sized change in x is associated with a coefficient sized change in y because uh, I'm saying it over and over again because it's a mantra that you want to say. In fact, stop the video right now and just say it out loud to yourself a couple times. A one unit change in X is associated with a coefficient sized unit change in Y. This always works as long as X only shows up in one uh, place in your model. Uh, if it shows up in more than one place, then things get a little bit more complex. But uh, as long as it only shows up in one place, this will always be the way that you can interpret a regression coefficient. Now, uh, there are three things that I'm gonna talk about going a little bit further about some wrinkles in this particular sentence, because filling in the sentence is, is easy enough, although interpreting what it means uh, maybe is in context a little bit harder. One thing is this, number one, uh, notice that I said a one unit change in X is associated with a coefficient sized unit change in Y. Uh, associated with does not imply any sort of causal relationship. And that is in fact, by, uh, by default, you shouldn't be assuming that you have causally identified the effect. Uh, and so that's why I use the term associated with. Uh, you might have heard the, the phrase, a one unit change in X increases Y by the size of the coefficient. That, that interpretation assumes that you have some sort of causal identification, which we probably don't. Although if you do, then yes, you can say that. If you have causally identified the effects of X on Y, then you can say a one unit change in X increases or decreases Y by the size of the coefficient. Right. Another thing is, uh, what if we don't actually care about X or Y directly, but we care about some sort of transformation of them? So for example, in the next video, we're gonna be talking about logarithms. Uh, and in that case, we, have, we might regress Y on the logarithm of X. And we would still say a one unit change in the logarithm X of our predictor uh, is associated with a coefficient sized unit change in Y. The sentence still works exactly because we're just regressing some outcome on some predictor. A one unit size change in the predictor is associated with a coefficient size unit change in the outcome. Although in this case, we don't actually care about a one unit size change in the log of X, we probably care about X directly. So the sentence still works. You can still fill in the blanks. You might need to do a little bit of work after the fact to try to convert that sentence into something that actually relates to the thing you're interested in. So there is that. Lastly, the times when that sentence does not work. Uh, so the only way in which that sentence is really going to not work in a common setting uh, is if X shows up in more than one place in the list of predictors. How could that be? Well, maybe you are regressing Y on X and the square of X, the polynomial, which we'll talk about in the next video. Or maybe we're regressing uh, Y on X and Z and X times Z. It's an interaction term, which we'll also talk about pretty soon. Uh, in either of those cases, it's no longer really the, the case that you can just do the sentence. Because remember what our sentence is when we have uh, control variables in there. Adjusting for all the other vari control variables, which we could also say is holding all the control variables constant, a one unit change in X is associated with a coefficient size unit change in Y. Okay, that seems like it should still work, except that you can't actually hold all the other controls constant, right? What if you have X and X squared in your model? Well, you can't really change the value of X, give a one unit change in X without also changing X squared, right? You can't change one without the other. Uh, and so you have to be a little bit more complex in terms of how you interpret that way. Now, in those cases, it's not that difficult. You can just go to a different interpretation of regression coefficients, which is the derivative. If we are regressing y on x, uh, then the derivative of y with respect to x is just 
theta 1. That's another way of getting at what the interpretation of the coefficient is, uh, and a one unit change in x being associated with a certain unit change size in y, we're sort of de describing the derivative, the slope of the line. Uh, when we have a more complex regression model, when we're regressing y on x and x squared or whatever, we can do the same thing. We just take the derivative again. We take the derivative of y with respect to x, we will get some sort of calculation, uh, and whatever that calculation is, which might have some sort of variable values in it on its own, that is the uh, relationship between x and y. A one unit change in x is associated with a little calculation sized unit change in y, where this calculation might include some multiple coefficients or some coefficients and also some variable values or whatever. All right, so that is how we can interpret a regression coefficient. Uh, the phrase that I've used 10 million times in this video, and I've continued to use it, and you should use it too, is a one unit size change in the predictor is associated with a coefficient unit size change in the outcome, perhaps controlling for some predictors. Uh, and that is how you interpret a regression coefficient. Thank you. Thank <music> you.